turn signals. Check. Brake lights. Check. Running lights. Houston, we have a problem. Both of these running lights should be lit. All of these running lights down here, as well as that license plate light. There's an additional step that you're gonna have to take in order to enable that, and I'll show you how. <laughs> I installed this Kurt hitch probably a few weeks within purchasing the van. So this is your standard class three hitch. This one particular one is from Kurt. It's the round bar. I think I got it from e-trailer. Under this driver's side uh, well here, I installed a tow module. And that tow module connects the main harness of the van to the wiring harness that runs to the trailer hitch. Those are all the things that I had to purchase. The trailer module, install that into driver footwell, install the piggyback cable that goes from the tow module down underneath the van and then the harness was already there that goes to the rear of the van but then install the piggyback that goes from the rear of the van harness to the seven and four pin trailer light receptacle so this is the harness that's already on the van from the factory it runs from the front to the rear and this is the pigtail I'm talking about, and this is where it plugs in. And that pigtail runs and plugs into the back of your 4-pin, 7-pin receptacle on the rear. This is a fairly light aluminum trailer. It's probably, I don't know, less than 600 pounds. It's a single axle. And I'll probably be towing less than probably 2,300 pounds. So no need for a tandem axle and uh, trailer brakes at this point. I don't really need the 7-pin, but I do need the 4-pin. And that'll give me all of the uh, lights that I need in order to, to make this trailer work. If you install all of that correctly, that's going to get you activation on your four pin receptacle. You saw in the beginning of the video when I plugged this in, I got turn signals, I got brake lights, I got flashers. Didn't get any running lights, the license plate light, none of that works. There's an additional step that you're going to have to take in order to enable that, and I'll show you how. All right, for this section, you're going to need a laptop, you're going to need four scan software, and you're going to need an OBD link. I normally would screen record, but uh, I'm running a little low on time here, so I'm going to do this by recording the screen with the phone. Here's the OBD link that I'm using. This is OBD Link EX. It's one of the ones, EX101. It's one of the ones recommended by Forescan, so I'm gonna go plug this in my OBD port, plug the USB into the laptop, and start up Forescan. We're gonna pop our little port here. Plug that in. All right, we're gonna plug that in. All right, so I heard that. Now, in order to actually make this change, you're gonna need an extended license for Forescan, but never fear, there is a two week temporary license that you can get from uh, Forescan. Here's the link for an ex extended free license. You just want to go to uh, to the downloads there. So products and get free extended license. And you just enter your information and you will get a two week extended license. That's going to be good enough for you to actually make the change that we need to make. So right now we're ready. It's already connected and found the modules. So then we're going to go down to the little chip here and that's going to allow us to actually make changes and we're going to go to the body control module central configuration main we're going to go down we're going to highlight that and we'll go down and hit the run service procedure button and it gives you uh, some warnings there to make sure you got a full battery blah 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 uh, you don't want to be making changes to uh, to the body control module when your uh, your van battery dies that would not be good and then I'll filter on trailer, All right? So what you're looking for here is trailer module. And it's probably set to 00, zero not configured or 01 without trailer module. It's probably 00, zero not configured. That's the way mine was. And what you want to do, depending on where you're at, my locality is in the United States and I have the seven pin uh, connector back there. So you want to make that change Right, so go and select the right one. Then also under tow bar, you want to enable trailer tow attachment. Hit OK, and then you're going to write that to the BCM. And I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it here. But uh, once you write that to the BCM, it's going to tell you to uh, you know turn ignition off and on, and uh, it'll do some 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 test on the dash. 
And basically after that point, you will get your running lights. All right, we've got the four pin plugged in. Let's just uh, verify that all of our lights are working. All right, notice now we have our running lights. We have two on each side, two on top of each fender. And then we have one on each side at the back. Got our tail lights. We've got three along the bottom at the back. License plate light. So they're all activated now. Now some people have mentioned something about fuses. I didn't have to touch a fuse or anything and my van didn't have any tow options whatsoever when I ordered it so or when I purchased it. So all I had to do was go into Forescan, enable the trailer module, put in my seven position socket for USA and enable the tow bar attachment. Write that to the uh, to the BCM and uh, after that everything started working so yeah this is how you do a update in Forescan for the trailer harness to work completely running lights signal lights tail lights turn signals all of that all right hope this information was useful in getting your uh, trailer wiring harness all sorted out getting your trailer running lights working if you enjoyed the content or if it helped you out please consider giving it a like and subscribing to your channel for more thanks